Okay, so I'm here in Adobe Illustrator and I'm using this as my scratch paper because I want to do my billboard. Now, on the billboard, um, I can I can take a rectangle uh, or whatever, and I want to. Now, I'm not going to do the billboard in Illustrator. I'm just kind of mapping it out or whatever. So I know I want to have possibly my logo down on this end, um, down in the, uh, probably down like somewhere right here. Then I want to have a, you know, an image, uh, probably in this area, maybe ticks going across here. I know I want to have a phone number going, uh, down the bottom, you know, uh, two, five, six, one, one. One 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 one. Uh, had a phone number coming out because the billboard is going to be big because I want people to see that they can come to this place here, got an image or whatever here, and whatever my slogan is going to be. Now it's going to look flat on here, but the process of what I'm going to go through through the entire thing is uh, making a billboard and then editing it and putting it in uh, um, on a mockup. So I'm going to go through that whole entire process. So the first thing I want to do is go to my Photoshop. So one of the things is a billboard is approximately 44 feet by um, 44 feet by 12 feet or something along those those lines or something like that depending on what size um, billboard you're going to do. But what I'm going to do here is do like a fourth of that or a, a very small version of that. Um, so your size of your billboard will be 16 and a half by 4.3. Nine five. Um, you can take this down about two fifty. It's it's not really necessary for it uh it to be a high resolution. I'm going to change this to RGB. Um, the resolution is good for if now if you're going to do a billboard, a real billboard, of course the resolution being high. But for what we're doing it for, um, taking it down to two fifty or even one fifty. It's fine if you're having problems with your computer. So here, that's going to be your billboard size. Okay, and I want to have my logo and things in there. Now, I know that I'm going to use a photograph. So I'm going to open up my photograph. I'm going to File, Open. And I got, now I have this shrimp photograph. And I have this one. This is the one I want to use. So I'm going to hit OK. Well, Open, I'm sorry. Now, I know a lot of you guys open in Photoshop where you have this little kind of smart object thing happening right in after you open it or place it or things like that. I don't do that. I just open the file so it opens itself and then I drag it to where I want to use it. That way I, I don't have to worry about rasterizing it and things like that. So you want to be mindful of how you bring your files in. Now in Photoshop, I want to move my image. So make sure you select your move tool. Okay. And when you select your move tool, uh, you see how I got this extra space back here. That's so I can be able to see what size this is and, and what I'm doing. So if I do a command T, that's going to do a transform. Okay. But I can't see the little bars. So I need to do command or control zero, the number zero. So I can see everything. So it gives me those bars there. And then I can know about where I want to move my, my image to and, and things like that. So I'm going to close this a swatch panel up here by hitting that little X there. And I'm just going to bring this down because it depends you know, how much of my image that I want. And I kind of want it a little smaller. Uh, Cause I kind of know what I want to do and I may fade that out to uh, 
you know, white, you know, with a, a layer mask. That's about what I want for my, my billboard. So after I get the size that I want here, I'm just going to hit return on my keyboard or you can double click to hit OK to apply the transformation. And then I'm going to zoom back in with uh, command plus. OK, so I can see everything. And I'm going to see, I, I know what I'm using here, so I'm going to close the illustrator so I won't see it in the background. Okay. So now I see that I have my billboard, but of course, this is very distracting, this hard line. So I want to make sure I kind of get that uh, faded out with a gradient mask. I mean, a layer mask, I'm sorry. So down at the bottom, I select my layer mask here at the very bottom. Now that is adding a vector mask. That's not what they want to do. So, uh oh, oh, I'd already added a layer, layer mask. So let's put that down. Delete. Okay. And then delete. Oh uh, yeah. So now I want to sh show you that it's a layer mask first. Add layer mask. And then I was, I was trying to show you it all, uh, but the, doing the second mask, which was a vector mask. That's not what I want. So here, like I, I'm going to fade. Now I'm going to see if I'm going to fade to black or I'm going to fade to uh, white. It's already white here. You see white on my background. So let's see what the gradient does here. It may not give me what I want. Uh-oh. Yeah, so I'm taking the gradient. Knock my layer mask off there. Taking my gradient here. Yeah, I don't like that. So, let's make sure I have my basic gradient here at the top. I want just the black to white. And I'm just going to drag. See, I had to go all the way out here to get rid of that hard line. I had to move it. Or I can zoom out and start. I can move the gradient here. I can start at a different angle to get it where I want it to be. I just, I just don't like the white. So I think I actually may fade to black. So I'm going to go to my background here. And since you see in my, um, since you see in my toolbox here, I have white and black as my foreground color. Um, so you can hit the letter D. If you have some other colors there, you can hit the letter D and the letter X to kind of switch places, whatever you want to switch places with. So black here now is my background color, okay, in my tool palette. So I want it to be my background color here on my billboard. So I'm going to hit Command, Delete, and fill it with black. So you see here my layer background layer here was selected. I'm going to undo that. Select it there, Command or Control Delete, and fill it with the background color. So now I'm gonna go back up here to my layer mask, take my gradient, and then see, we'll go the opposite way, and see how that I can get rid of that little line there. So that is much better with the line there. So what I want to say here, and then too, as I bring my image down, because I really want just that little part to show this is really good here. Um, I want to add my logo. And then I also want to say in the um, in the slogan, small company, big taste. So I'm going to... Now I can add my text in Illustrator. Oh. So my uh, 
video was interrupted by uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire uh, ringtone, just so I won't get sued on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> but I turned it off. So anyway, I want to say small company, big taste here. And I want to um, make sure my, lo my logo is going to fit about right here. Now I can add my text, like I said, in InDesign or in Photoshop. And um, the reason why I'm having you do it in InDesign is because of the PDF uh, format. If you see here, this comes out to a 32 megabyte image. Let's just stop right here. So I'm going to go and save. I'm saying right here on my desktop. And uh, because I want to show you the reason why I'm asking you to do this. And then plus, you're going into your Google Drives with large files. So this file here is 32 megabytes. And although that's not really big, uh, it's a significant size file. So you have 32 megabytes. If it was flattened, it would be 13. But I'm going to show you why I want you to open that in. Uh, why well, I want you to finish it in InDesign.